Let me tell you guys, you ought to be grateful that I off-screened this last part, because the encounter rate was a little bit more obnoxious than last time. Nonetheless, we're back here, and we're gonna check out the last puzzle in the Ruins of Alf. Uh, we can't enter the, the vault, by the way, because as I said, this is the one that requires a water stone, and we don't have any of these yet. Um, don't you think that's enough crap? Why not just, you know, let me enter the damn ruins? Okay, fine, have it your way, game. Okay, so there we go. Um, just to show you guys, as I said before, I think, yep, you need a water stone. First time I came here, and even my crystal LP, I had no clue what to do, and I had to look it up. Anyway, this puzzle, it's uh, an Omanyte puzzle, since we've already done Kabuto, we've done Aerodactyl, we've done Who. Kabuto is all that's left, so, okay, these two corners were pretty easy. Okay, this goes on the back here, this goes there, I believe. Yeah, looking good right now, but uh, where's the, where's the other eye? Where's the other eye? I don't see an eye there. Um, let's just see. I'm gonna note that. I don't think that's the one. Nah, this one looks more like it. Um. Oh, I get it. It, 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 <laughs> it it's a view from the side. Okay, so that's why there there's only one eye. There we go. Now it wasn't that easy. So now I fall back down into the ruins with and uh, with the unknowns, and now I have unlocked all the letters. And if I wanted to unlock the the exclamation mark and question mark, I would need to catch all of the 26 letters. But we're not going to be doing that here. So now that this is done, I forgot to do something on Route 34 while I was in the Goldenrod area. So I'm going to head over there. And I will see you uh, once I get there. So see you in a moment. Okay, uh, route, route 34. Uh, here I'm right next to the daycare. What do you want to do? You want to su start surfing down. And there's an item, I believe, right here. Yeah, there we go. And further down... Um, you, you don't want to stop here yet, because further down there are three trainers to fight. In the Gold Silver Crystal, uh, two of you, two of them ambushed you one after the other uh, wi without you moving. But that was only done that way because double battles didn't exist back then. But now that they do exist, this is actually going to be one of the very few double battles in the game. Now, if there was, if there was a way to still fight them in singles. I would do it because, as I've said several times before, I just don't like... I just don't like doubles and triples and rotation battles. I'm a purist, and singles are what I do best, as do most people, as a matter of fact. Well, maybe not hating doubles and triples, but doing singles better, at least. Uh, now on to something that has nothing to do with Pokémon. I don't know why I'm asking here, but I bet that with 8,000 plus subscribers, someone ought to know the answer. Uh, I've been replaying Final Fantasy VI lately, and something I've been wondering for a while, actually. Uh, I think everyone who's ever played the game knows about the terms, so, you know, World of Balance and World of Ruin. But what I want to know is where did those terms come from? Because they are never, ever, ever mentioned at all in the game, and yet in every single piece of documentation you can find, whether it's on GameFAQs or on any other website, you will inevitably see those two terms used time and time again. So what I want to know is, if it's not in the game, then where did those terms come from in the first place? Yeah, I've, I've been wanting to know this for a while, and just watch, there's no clear story, so it's going to turn out that everyone's going to have their own version of the, of the story. This would be fun, actually, if it happened. But yeah, I really, really, really don't know. And by the way, while we're busy not talking about Pokemon, um, I don't know if you guys saw the latest preview of, uh, from the Angry Video Game Nerd, but near the end, uh, at one point, he jokes around by saying there's a game that's called Dr. Claw's Dump and Pump that exists for the Sega Genesis. You even see him hold the cartridge in his hand, and it says Dr. Claw's Dump and Pump, and you see Dr. Claw's hand with a plunger. 
And the amazing thing is that it looked really convincing. Either it was a special effect uh, done using a computer, or he just made a custom sticker and put it on top of, um, of some random Genesis cartridge. But uh, the point is that I thought to myself, no way. There is simply no way that such a game can exist. After all, we're talking about the Sega Genesis, not the Atari 2600, where anyone could make a game for the console and it could find its way on shelves. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is that when I first saw it, my heart sort of jumped because I immediately knew what I'd be doing for next year's April Fool's video. And, you know, it's sort of sad that it's not actually true, because, well, we're... It's August 11 today, and I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for next year's April Fools. But, uh, yeah, I, I know that there's over seven months left to do so, but I got the idea for... Um, I was given the idea for the Zardtard thing, rather, almost immediately after the previous April Fools' Day. Um, so now I've beaten all three trainers, and uh, what's the prize for that already? It's a power herb. Well, not something that I'll, that I'll ever be using. So now that those trainers have been beaten, I'm going to head back to the entrance to the dark caves I originally intended to do after doing the Runes of Val. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so for this part, uh, the dark cave, I'm going to send Crobat in the lead instead of Lapras. Reason being that uh, this cave leads to Route 46, and there is going to be no healing opportunities in the meantime. So I want I want my Lapras to have uh, all its PP for when I actually get there, because there are trainers over there with levels that are a lot more interesting than the wild Pokémon that you're about to see in this cave. So yeah, this is why I'm going with Crobat instead of Lapras. Wing Attack's got plenty of PP for those weak Pokémon. And the thing is, I remember this part, uh, Route 46, I mean, being a bit of a pain in Crystal, because, uh, well, I don't think my Lapras was very high in terms of levels, only like 25, but right now it's 30, so it should be okay. And uh, by the way, I'm just gonna show you where I did my grinding, it's right here. Hyper Potion, still in the same place it used to be. Uh, yeah, I did my grinding here because uh, there were Gravelers and Gold Bats sometimes here. I had to watch out for Wob Buffets, though. Those were really, really painful to deal with. And by the way, I'm going to be forced to go through this entire cave twice. Well, at least this section of the cave, the other one I can't access just yet because, well, you saw those jumping ledges near where the Hyper Potion was. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to do it twice because there's a fork in the road on Route 46. And if I want to head back there, I'm gonna have to go through this cave again. OH MY GOD, I'VE DONE SPARS! Oh wow, this is super rare! This is like a one-person chance of appearing without a swarm. So, well, too bad I don't need it, otherwise it would probably be something I would want to catch. But, not gonna waste your time with that because... Dunsparce, well, it was actually sort of cool in Generation 3 back when it first uh, gained Serene Grace, but afterwards, Togekiss got it and was actually, it, it actually had the stats and move pool to be competitively viable. Jirachi uh, learned Iron Head, which made it into an unholy terror of sorts, so yeah, Dunsparce isn't really all that cool anymore, but it's still was the original Serene Grace abuser, so at least it's, it's always gonna have a, a spot in my heart for that reason alone. And, you know, it's odd that I should mention Pokémon that have fallen out of grace recently, because there was something that I was actually intending on talking about, uh, which is Wap Buffet. Uh, its presence in Overuse, even though it's nowhere near the threat that it used to be, because Encore has been nerfed, and everything hits so much harder that it's really, really hard for Wob Buffett to actually switch into something it can beat. So, as a result, it, um, it was demoted and demoted and demoted again. But then I guess people realized that, you know, if, even if it still can't cut it in overuse anymore, maybe in lower tiers it could be really good, because the concept of uh, 
preventing the opponent from switching altogether would still be uh, rather terrorizing in the lower tiers where, you know, s uh, stuff still hits rather hard but not quite as hard as in overused. It might actually be sort of closer to a Generation 4 overused in that... Uh, how, how would I say it? It's because, well, I guess the idea is that a lot of those overused Pokémon ended, ended up being underused overnight. I'm thinking of stuff like Azel, for example, which is nowhere close to being overused, despite being one of the, of the dominant forces last generation. Anyway, uh, Route 45, don't... Um, I'm just showing you that you can come here, but there's nothing to do here for now. You need to come from Blackthorn to be able to see anything. Oh! This is the introduction to something new, and this is the this is the fork in the road that I was talking about. But yeah, you just saw a rock climbable wall there. These come back from um, Diamond Pearl Platinum, however, their role is very, very different. In Diamond Pearl and Platinum is it was just like just it was just like any other roadblock, like for example, Rock Smash, Rock Strength Boulders, water you need to surf on. It was sort of the, of the same thing, but it's actually very, very different in this game. Well, except for Mount Silver, where you actually need it to progress. But as far as the rest of the game goes, you can only obtain the Rock Climb HM after beating. Blue, I believe. You get it from Professor Oak in Pallet Town. And after that, you can go and backtrack to all the places you've been and up those slopes that, uh, that uh, are climbable. You can find items sometimes. But uh, the main interesting thing is that uh, there, are, there are special headbuttable trees up those slopes. And if you headbutt them, then you have a chance of getting Pokémon that aren't normally obtainable in this game. Such as, for example, Burmy. There are a few others, but uh, Burmy is the first one that came to my mind. But uh, yeah, this is the only way to obtain some of those Hoenn and Sinnoh Pokémon. And there are a few other ways uh, that you can obtain those Pokémon, not the same species as those from those special headbutt trees, obviously. Uh, there are radio programs that can attract certain Pokémon, most notably Hoenn Sound and Sinnoh Sound. But uh, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be showing those, uh, those ways to you as they become relevant. For, uh, for most of them, well, not most of them. No, I don't want a headbutt, I just wanted to grab the item. I, th I thought it pressed up. But, yeah, um, what was I saying already? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, obviously it's gonna have to wait until after I get the National Dex because uh, you're only meant to obtain Pokémon that are in the Johto Dex uh, in this first part of the game until you beat the Elite Four. Which, by the way, the Johto Dex is uh, all Generation 1 and 2 Pokémon plus five Generation 4 Pokémon that evolved when they uh, when they learn a certain move because they didn't want to pull the same crap as in um, Fire Red and Leaf Green where a Pokémon could be prevented from evolving if it met the criteria. It's like, you know, what? Golbat is evolving! And then it doesn't evolve because you don't have the upgraded Pokédex which made absolutely no sense, and it was a bunch of bullshit. So they, did, they didn't want to prevent you from getting those Pokémon, those five Pokémon, which are Tangrowth, Yanmega, Mamoswine, Ambipom, and Licky Licky. And uh, now, uh, just uh, to, make, to make sure I'm perfectly understood, you can still trade for those Pokémon that aren't in the Johto decks, even at this stage of the game. But they, their number, their number will just be three question marks, I believe. I never really bothered looking that up. Uh, anyway, in Cherry Grove City, what I'm doing right now, uh, there's uh, you saw that guy on the island there. Uh, he's gonna give me an item, so that's why I bothered coming here at all. Otherwise, probably would have stopped recording and made my way back to Route 46 to. Uh, um, go to the uh, other part of the branch path that I didn't take. Oh, Mystic Water? Do I want to use that, or do I want to keep the Quick Claw? Um, I'm going to think about it, and I'm going to come back to you with the answer in the next video.